Hi, welcome to this video. Doug Barry here. I appreciate you being with me. Right now, we're in the midst of something worldwide that is causing so much panic and so much chaos and so much upheaval in so many lives on so many levels. So much fear. It's unimaginable. Many never, ever thought we would come close to something like what we're seeing right now in our world. This Chinese coronavirus is turning lives upside down, left and right on many levels. I don't have to go into the details about that. You see it in the news. You know what's going on. You're living through it. I'm living through it to some degree. We all are. But we're also in the midst of something right now that we cannot overlook. This is the week at the time I record this between Easter and Divine Mercy Sunday. This is a powerful opportunity, a tremendous window of grace that God has given the world. There is this devotion to the Divine Mercy and the image you see on the wall behind me here. This is the image, the Divine Mercy, the sacred heart of Jesus pierced by the lance when he hung on the cross on Good Friday and water and blood flowing from his side. Now, he appeared to St. Faustina in the 1930s and gave her powerful messages for the whole world, written down in the diary, the famous diary of St. Faustina. What is he saying to the world? What is he saying? Listen to some of what St. Faustina wrote down at the command of our Lord. My daughter, speak to the world about my mercy. Let all mankind recognize my unfathomable mercy it is a sign for the end times. After it will come the day of justice. While there is still time, let them have recourse to the fount of my mercy. Let them profit from the blood and water which gushed forth for them. Write this, before I come as the just judge, I am coming first as the king of mercy. Write, before I come as a just judge, I first open wide the door of my mercy. He who refuses to pass through the door of my mercy must pass through the door of my justice. Secretary of my mercy, write, tell souls about this great mercy of mine, because the awful day, the day of my justice is near. Before the day of justice, I am sending the day of mercy. I am prolonging the time of mercy for the sake of sinners, but woe to them if they do not recognize this time of my visitation. Even our Blessed Mother spoke to St. Faustina. She told her this, You have to speak to the world about his great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of him who will come not as a merciful savior, but as a just judge. Oh, how terrible is that day. Determined is the day of justice, the day of divine wrath. The angels tremble before it. Speak to souls about this great mercy while it is still the time for granting mercy. These incredible words from our Lord and our Blessed Mother to us, to you and me, to the whole world through St. Faustina. We need to devour these words. We need to respond to these words. We need to respond to the graces that come to us through this devotion to the divine mercy. Many of you have seen pamphlets like this or booklets like this. They're in the back of your church. You've seen it before. I know our churches are locked for the most part for many of us right now, but you've seen these, many of you have. Some of you know there is that one person or those two people out there, those few people in the parish that are the divine mercy people. They're the ones that have been promoting this devotion for years. It's been on their heart, like a ministry, like a mission that God put on their heart to tell the world about this. That's what I'm trying to do through this video right now. We have to be missionaries of mercy in this time. Our Lord came to the world in the 1930s and spoke to St. Faustina in this very powerful way. And through this divine mercy devotion, we, we have this opportunity for graces that are, that are incredible. But this time of mercy will run out, as those passages I read say. We will reach a point when it will be divine judgment. We are in a time right now where many of our churches are closed. We're in a time right now where many of us cannot receive Holy Communion on a regular basis, if at all, depending upon your situation, your circumstances, your location. Many are restricted at even finding a priest to hear their confession. We're in an incredible moment right now, but what we can do is we can pray our daily rosary. I've always got to bring that up. Pray that daily rosary, but on the rosary, we can pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy, normally pray in the three o'clock hour. You can pray at any time of the day. Three o'clock hour, powerful though. 
It's a reminder of the hour that our Lord perished on the cross and when his side was pierced by the lance and blood and water flowed out of his sacred heart. That Divine Mercy Chaplet takes five or six minutes to do, five or six minutes to pray. And right now, for many of us who are isolated, many of us who are staying at home, we have time to work this into the schedule. This should not be a problem for us. To take advantage of this opportunity right now, this opportunity for grace from God, this opportunity to respond to the the, the crying out of our Lord through St. Faustina to the world in the times that we're in right now, we have got to realize the need for God's mercy. And we can be instruments of spreading that mercy all over the world. You can share this video with others. You can pass on a pamphlet like this. You can direct people to a website. I'll put some links down below. You can check those out. You can pass those on to people in some way, shape, or form. But for those of you out there watching this who already understand that this devotion is powerful, maybe you already prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet or you have at different times, realize that our Lord's, our Lord's response to us when we trust Him, He speaks very much about that in the diary, the heart that trusts His sacred heart, what He can do with a heart like that, the graces that flow through a heart and to a heart that trusts in His sacred heart. In the times that we're in, we need that trust. But there are many people out there that are lost, many people that are confused, many people that are finding something in their heart, they're actually reaching out more to try to find something about prayer. The Google searches, the website searches, internet searches for prayer, for, for some communications and some encounter with God are skyrocketing because people are in a situation right now where all, a lot of our false gods have been pulled out from underneath us. We have an opportunity now, those of us who who pray a rosary, those of us who pray the chapel, we have an opportunity now to pray intensely for all of those souls out there that are looking for God in a new way. Let's not waste this opportunity. Let's not waste the time that we're in. Let's not waste the sacrifice that we're being asked to make in the time that we're in. Let's not waste the suffering. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, Venerable Archbishop Fulton Sheen, sooner or later will be canonized. He said that the greatest problem in the world is not all the suffering. The greatest problem in the world is all the wasted suffering. To take suffering and unite it to the cross, unite it to the passion of Jesus, unite it in prayer with act of will, where we choose to say, Lord, I give this to you. I give this difficult time to you. I give this challenge to you, whatever the suffering is. And we all go through some kind of suffering. Right now, it's been ramped up for most of us. When we unite it to the passion of Christ, powerful things can happen, not because of us, but because of the grace of God, working through hearts that are cooperating with him. So I encourage you, don't forget, this takes again five to six minutes to pray the Chapel of Divine Mercy on the rosary. It's a greatest, you don't have to have the rosary, you can count on your fingers, it's not a problem with that. A little pamphlet, very simple. You can find this online, again, links below, share this with others, start doing this. Start doing this now. There was no time to waste in getting these messages out. Everybody wants to see everything go back to normal. Do, do we really think it's going to go back to normal? There's so much upheaval right now and so much fear that we're on the verge of a depression that's worse than the Great Depression. We are in a real world of hurt right now. But God's mercy is powerful. We just need to cooperate with it. We need to put it into practice too. I mean, put into practice things like praying our daily rosary, praying a daily chaplet, and really turning it over to God and trusting in his sacred heart. Remember the words, the famous words of this divine mercy devotion. Jesus, I trust in you, in you. Not in the government, not in scientists, not in a vaccine or medical care. Yes, those are all pieces of the puzzle. No question about it. But ultimately, it is about trusting in Jesus and trusting in the intercession of our Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, the saints, the angels. And I'm gonna say thank you to all of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Just look what we can do when we join forces. Look at the messages we can get out to more lives, more souls. Messages like this, divine mercy, so important for the times that we're living in right now. If you wanna become a patron, you can click the link below. Remember, I pray for you by name. Thank you very much. God bless you and strengthen you for the fight. I look forward to seeing you again soon.